So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reunite the jellyfish that you can summon with her sister. This one. Yeah, it turns out she has a sister. And it's really worth it to reunite her with her sister because you do get some things. You get a new gesture as well as a unique talisman. And you get to listen to some interesting dialogue that the developers added in for us to discover and check out. And lastly, I mean, you don't even lose the jellyfish summon even after reuniting her with her sister you keep the summon so you don't lose anything it's just something that you can do with the summon which i think is awesome that there's actually something we can chain react by using a specific summon i think that's really cool that there's a bit of lore with it you know but yeah so to start this off um we're going to be having to head over to the storm hill shack because that's where we get the spirit jellyfish summon as you can see it's located right here not too far from the first step you can find this place really early in the game. Over here, we'll find this lady sitting in here in this shack, and if we continue to talk to her after a while, she will give us the spirit jellyfish summon. And the reason why is because she thinks it's in better hands with us. So that's how you get the spirit jellyfish summon. And like I said, you can get this really early in the game. However, to reunite her with her sister, it's going to be way further in the game. Her sister will be located over at the mountaintops of giants. But once you do eventually get this far into the game where you're up here at the mountaintops of giants, we're going to have to head over from Ancient Snow Valley Ruins Waypoint to Stargazer's Ruins. I'm going to be starting from the Ancient Snow Valley Ruins Waypoint and make my way over to it, just so you all can go and do this too from this waypoint easily. So yeah, just follow the way that I take to get there, starting from this waypoint here. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit just to save some time. Feel free to rewind. Alright, so once we get over here where these creatures are battling it out, we just want to head over this way to this lift. And this will take us up by Stargazer's Ruins. And we'll skip a lot of giant skeletons that are over in that cemetery across this. I'm not going to get into them though. But yeah, we can find Stargazer Ruins over here. As you can see, there's the jellyfish right inside these ruins. Here's what she'll say when we first approach her. Sister, where did you go? You promised me when we turned 14, we go to see the stars. I've been waiting ever so long, forever and ever it seems. Yeah, pretty sad. And the jellyfish will keep repeating that dialogue until we summon uh, the spirit jellyfish. You can also find something secretive down here, but at the moment it is blocked. However, when we reunite her with her sister, that will break this seal. And a treasure chest is in there with the unique talisman. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Here's what all happens when we do reunite them. She's been waiting here for a long time. Pretty sad. Dear sister, you're finally here. No time to waste. Let's see the stars. So, yeah. That's what happened. That's pretty awesome that there's a little bit of lore with the end summon that we get. But yeah, anyways, also after reuniting them, we get a new gesture called Fancy Spin, and that seal that was blocking the doorway down here is now broken. So we can now officially enter Stargazer Ruins, and then here we can find a chest, and this will have the unique talisman. As you can see, it's called the Primal Glenstone Blade, and this makes it so spells consume less FP, but maximum HP is reduced. So yeah, it can be pretty useful depending on your build. And here's what the fancy spin gesture looks like, by the way. The spin does look fancy, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video. Hope we all found this enjoyable. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.